guys, this is uh, Captain Sean Rollers with uh, Fish and Fanatic Charters. I'm um, here today want to uh, talk to you about some basic uh, tackle that I like to use to target inshore uh, species out of uh, Tampa Bay. Um, we'll start off with, with this time of year, as you can tell, it's uh, pretty hot out here right now and we like to start off with some top water. I have here is a uh, made by Gill Reaper. It's a uh, spitter plug. Um, it's actually a combination of walking the dog style and also as a spitter um, so it has great action you can hear the um, the beauty inside of it and then jig fishing is probably one of my top ways to, to fish the flats also up against the mangroves skipping different types of plastics um, this here is a 1 8 ounce um, Summertime, sometimes you can bump up to a half ounce since we have higher tide uh, depths. So, you know, so if you want a faster drop, um, you can definitely go up to a half ounce. Um, but I prefer to use the one eighth ounce spoon. Here I have a uh, half ounce weedless Johnson gold spoon. Um, it's a great search bait on the flats. Redfish love it. Um, got it uh, tied here just to give you an example and what I do is I've got a uh, like an offshore swivel um, that keeps the braided line from t twisting when the, the spoon is going through the water it kind of rotates like this and can uh, cause uh, the braided line to get all twisted up and lose the action out of the, the spoon so that's the reason why we do the, uh, the swivel bait. A um, couple baits here that I like to use is, uh, as you can tell, both of them are scented baits. This is the, the gulp shrimp 3 inch, which I like to, like to, I like to use on the flats or um, skipping in the mangroves. There's some different techniques I like to use with it. Um, you can rig it through the head part of the uh, the bait, where it's like that, or um, if you want to get really long distance, you can actually bite the tail off and you can rig it to where it's backwards, like so. Um, then you have your paddle tail. This is made by Sneaky Fingers, which is a disco green color. Um, same thing, you can rig it. Kind of setup looks like this. Paddle tail give a little more vibration and action in the water. Um, can create a um, an action strike, um, which is another great bait for uh, for the flats and also throwing against the bangos. Hey guys, this is uh, Captain Sean Rollerson with Fish and Fanatic Charters. I uh, just want to talk to you about some uh, um, more tackle that I use here. This one here is going to be the rod and reel. Um, I use a lot of the 3000, the 3500 series reels. Um, this is a uh, Shimano. Um, this here is a uh, St. Croix 7 foot medium action rod. Um, 10 pound power pro, 20 pound leader. Uh, this is a the, the typical size that I use uh, when I'm uh, fishing the flats. Uh, no structure. Um, if I'm starting to get some structure, I may bump up uh, the Power Pro up to about 15 to 20, and then bump up the leader to up to 30, um, depending on the structure. Um, in case we got to really horse the fish out of the underneath the mangroves, or if we're fishing up against some rock piles or anything like that. Um, I see that a lot of people, uh, what they run into is, is that they can't figure out why they're not able to cast to get the long distance out of their, um, their lure. Um, a lot of times is what happens is people are off balancing their uh, tackle. Um, when you're throwing uh, a, a 3,000, 3,500 series and you have 20 pound power pro, you got a 30 pound leader and then you're throwing just a half ounce lure or a one eighth ounce jig, it kind of off balances it. This here, with me holding up this rod like this, I can actually feel this lure dangling there. Now if I had 20 pound, 
which beefs up the diameter of this braid. You beef up this uh, leader up to 30, which now you have the half ounce spoon or eighth ounce jig, you're not gonna fill it. I mean, it's almost gonna be like throwing a fly rod. Um, so you're not gonna really get too much distance out of your, your lure. So you wanna make sure that you balance it out. Um, you know, 10 pound, 20 pound, um, you're fishing for snook, you know, you're gonna have to keep eye on your leader every time uh, you do, do catch one and make sure it's not been uh, frayed. Thank you guys for uh, watching this episode on the, on the YouTube. Uh, hopefully we can get something out every two once a month. If you have any questions um, about any of these, uh, the tackle or rod and reels or anything like that that I uh, talked to you about today, um, you can email me at captainshawnfishing at gmail.com. That is C-A-P-T and then seanfishing at gmail.com. Also, you can check out my website, which is captainshawnfishing.com. And if you have any questions, you can also can call me at 863-860-8502. Thanks for watching.